Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Supergirl season number 3, episode number 20, Dark Side of the Moon. This episode directed by Hanil um, Culpepper. And here we have, a everybody has a plan to try to save Samantha from Rain. They're trying to find a way to separate Rain from Samantha so she can live a normal life with her daughter. That's what Supergirl wants to do. And so Supergirl and Mount L travel in space because they, they have a certain, a certain um, um, material, uh, mineral out there they, they can use to help save, help, um, save um, Samantha. So Mount L and Supergirl fly off in space using um, John's ship. And, and, and while they're out there, they, they do find the mineral, but they also find something else. They find Kryptonians. And Supergirl finds her mom. She's still alive. She didn't die. And a lot of other Krypt Kryptonians survived as well. And so, the, but the problem is that the, the material they, they, that they need to save um, rain, from, to stop, save Samantha and, and, and stop rain, to save Earth, is the same material they need to help, to help them survive. So now she got to go to the council to find, so, so, so she can get permission to use this material because, because, because if they give them, if, because they give her too much to save another planet, it'll hurt them. And, it, and, and so, so, she, so she got a problem she got to deal with. And then on Earth, you have Alex. Alex is trying to, trying to um, pretty much take care of Ruby while her mom's away. And... She's trying to be there for her, being like, be there for the best she can. But in, but, but, but in the process, somebody's trying to kill her. So now she's trying to figure out who's trying to, to kill me, and then stop them and bring them to justice. So you got that going on. So it's, and so and then you have Lena, who's struggling the, the, the who's struggling the, the, um, with the decision. Like if things go wrong, she would have to kill Rain. She had to kill her. But in the process, she also killing Samantha, leaving her, her Ruby without a mom, and so she's dealing with that situation. And then you have Rain, who's pretty much trying to egg her on and push her buttons and get inside of her head, and mess her up, so she can't really focus on what she really want, want to do, and she and make, and trying to force her to make the wrong decision. Because she's pretty much trying to tell her, You're, "I'm evil. I know that, but so are you." You can try to act all nice if you want to. Try to be all nice, make friends all day long. If you, yeah, you make you make you feel better. But you're just like me. When push comes to shove, you gonna make you gonna you gonna go down the dark path, just like just like just like I did. And so you see Lena dealing with that situation because she's thinking to herself that might be true. Now overall, I did enjoy this episode a lot. Very emotional, especially watching um Carol reunite with her mom, find out that her mom is still alive. That was great. But there are some there are some things about this episode I didn't quite like. I never I never really like how they treat Martian Manhunter on the show. I never do because they, it, this guy is so extremely OP, but yet they never utilize him at all. He always shows up at, at the, to, um, too late, which makes no sense, or he can't or he's useless. And so Alex is chasing down the guy who's um who is trying to kill her. And she's jumping on rooftops. And then you have John looking up at her, telling her, wait for backup. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, dude, you are the backup. You are, you are more than a whole army. If she has you there, she's okay. You can fly, remember? Her on a roof means nothing. If you can fly, you can fly at high speeds. You can catch her just like that. And you have telekinesis. I think she'll be fine. Just... And there's a moment where she like almost dies, and then he, she 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 manages to save herself and, and take down the bad guy, and then he shows up at the, at the end like this. Dude, you could have you you could have stopped the guy and helped. Uh, every, every time he's on screen and and, and and something's going down and he could do something and he's not doing it, it just drives me crazy because I kept thinking like I mean I understand the show doesn't have that much on the, in the budget I guess. But still, it's like, it's like once he's in human form, he can't do anything, which makes no sense. He can still use his powers even though he's in human form. It, it doesn't stop him from using his Martian Manhunter powers. So, I don't know. I, 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 every time, I, 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 the only part that bothers me. And then another scene that's kind of weird and kind of strange. 
Okay, now, when I had to watch Ruby for, for, for a while, and you would think that Wynn would understand where she's coming from because he had a father, he has a father, who, he had a father who's, who also is a villain and also tried to kill him. But yet he treated he treated Ruby like crap and pushed her like pushed push her away and, and ignore her and she like she like she I, I, I think it was like why are you doing this you should be the most sympathetic person of all of ever everybody you really understand where she's coming from and how she's feeling and then to treat her like that way was just like what I mean yes he did turn around in the episode but just watching him it felt so all the character like just what is going on like like no 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 but overall I did enjoy this episode. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to go down, how they're going to actually save, um, Samantha and Rain, is, is, how they gonna, are they going to separate them, or are they going to make her, make Rain just go away altogether, but the thing is though, Samantha is still an alien, she is still from Krypton, will she develop powers on her own as Kryptonian, or she just be just plain human now, I don't, I really don't know, but either who, it, like I said, it had moments in here I really didn't I enjoy. I I, I like the all inter, 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 and the interactions between um Lena and um Rain, watching um Rain try to get inside Lena's head, and watching them like kind of battle it out. I enjoyed that. Um. I like I like the whole thing the situation back on on on, on with, um. Kara discovering that her her mother's still alive and finding all all all, all the other Kryptonians out there. I thought that was nice, and watching and and I loved how the the city how the city looked and how how it was designed and how it was built. And I, thought, I thought that was amazing. But it, it's like it's like always. It, it had some moments in here which not that wasn't quite well on the up and up. But overall, I still had fun watching it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Supergirl. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would really appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.